Hi, my name is Laura Garrett Cardis. Um, I'm with the Children's Defense Fund, and we're here to testify today on House Bill 3791. We want to start by commending Chairman Zerwas on looking for a way to provide an option of affordable health care coverage for uninsured Texans. While we do not support every aspect of this bill, we are not testifying in opposition because this bill seeks to create an option for people who currently have no option. And um, if y'all will allow me to divulge, maybe some of you have heard, um, and we, many of you, of Mohammed Yunus. He won a Nobel Peace Prize for the work he's done in Bangladesh. He invented micro-lending. And in a time when his country was in some of the worst poverty in history, he, re he walked around poor neighborhoods and realized that poor Bangladeshis were essentially locked out of the credit and, and a big part of the, econo of the economy. And he invented micro-lending to allow them to come in. Um, so for, and by the way, they've reduced poverty in their country by one-third in the last two decades, and their business has grown tremendously. It's a huge success. The parallel here is that today we have locked out several million Texans from the health care insurance market. They don't have access to it. And um, we appreciate this bill because it seems to seek a way to open up the market to citizens that are being refused entry into it largely. Um, now, we're not asking that low-income people be forced to take this uh, coverage. Uh, this is not our job. Um, there will always be someone who will should have had coverage who didn't. Um, but I believe that our job and, and the, the state government's job is to make sure that a reasonable option exists for all income levels in Texas. Um, and this bill provide, would provide the ability to do that. Um, now, before I finish, I do have to say that we don't support block grants in general. We think that that is a bad um, a bad deal for Texas. Um, the CBO estimates that by 2030, federal matching funding for Medicaid would be 49% lower than we have today. So we'd have to learn how to really be efficient to be able to do just as much with about 50% less funding. Um, we would also not get increased federal matching during economic downturns or natural disasters as we do now, um, amongst many other problems. Um, as we seek a Texas solution, we just ask that um, that affordability and um, and benefits packages be appropriate to this population. Um, but but we do feel that um, other solutions uh, can be good here in Texas. And I think if uh, I'll just throw in one thing that that was said earlier today about eligible uninsured children. We work in the front lines enrolling children every day as the Children's Defense Fund. And every time I hear that there's all these eligible uninsured children because the parents simply aren't enrolling, um, it, it's troubling to hear because they are enrolling. And the main reason that we know they're enrolling is when 12-month uh, coverage for Medicaid gets scored, it shows that um, half of all of those eligible uninsured children would get enrolled, and that can only happen if, if, if these families are applying. So what's happening is they're coming on and off the rolls, much like we would if we had to apply for a new driver's license every six months. Um, so thank you very much for the opportunity to testify. Thank you very much. Any questions, members? Appreciate you coming out to testify. Thank you. Thank you.